drove out from Lead Hill today just to see you guys All right. about my project. It's an honor and a privilege. I have a new title now. Being that I want to get into this classic look, mm -hmm. it's Count Von Lord El Polaco, <laughs> a.k.a. Mr. Goofy Man. Mr. Goofy Man. <laughs> Mr. Goofy Man. All right. That's the short, short yeah. version. You're still him to me. So. Yeah, yeah. Him. him. So this new project's a Model A of sorts. It's a Model A body. It's got a new frame when it was done uh, 20 years ago or more. Mm -hmm. All rectangular tubing. Mm -hmm. Very strong, nice. Got the Mustang 2 front end. Okay. Uh, got a 9 inch or 8 inch rear end, but uh, I want to go independent there. Okay. So that's the first step is to Z it. Next step is lengthen the body, push the body far back as we can. And so you're thinking rear independent rear, you're thinking. I'm thinking Thunderbird because I can get a free one. Thunderbird? <laughs> I'm thinking Jaguar because they're easier. They go talk to Heights and they just give you a whole nice thing. Because I want to see mine, but I don't, I don't want to channel it. Because uh -huh. I want I want that height as much as I can get. So I'm also thinking this extension under the hood. Mm -hmm. Besides lengthening the door. Now the reason I want to do the door is because it's so darn narrow. So I have to make a decision how much to lengthen the door, and that'll make this less. Mm -hmm. Say, then the engine right to that. So it's a it's a it's a truck body. Yeah, pickup. Roaster. It's a roaster body. Yeah, it's a real narrow door. Then. Oh yeah, yeah. Hello, we may be seeing a frame. Okay. It's an existing frame. Okay. Rectangular tubing. Okay. No problem. Probably Have not. you ever mounted a Thunderbird rear end? No, but how, how hard could it be? How would you like to learn how to do one? I'm always off the game. Okay, they got a big, ugly, uh, what do you call those arms? Control arms. Control arms. Yeah, arms. Yeah, arms. Make something out of tubing. Okay. Uh, and also, we're going to bring coil over to of those big coils that they have. Okay. Because uh, it's going to be a lighter car. Than Thunderbird. Okay. It's a 90s, uh, like 95 or 6 Thunderbird Burnham. Okay. The center section is aluminum, which is nice. Uh -huh. Anchor that tall, of course. And then you go from the uh, And I've got a complete rear end uh, that'll be coming to my home. Okay. Well, I got a. So if you don't have a problem with that, don't have a problem with it at all. Okay. When you want to start on it. We we'll have to see how the schedule goes. We we'll have to yep. see how the scheduling goes. Yes. The scheduling. Yes. Yeah, if we can do something. Oh, yeah, you bet. You bet. That's okay. Good. Anytime you get ready. I'm all I got, a, like I said, oh, oh, the front suspension, the must be front end. Okay. Uh, We're going to leave that alone? Absolutely. I don't blame you. So. Don't blame you a bit. All right. Sound like a plan. Okay. Let's get together and do it. Wait. Jaguar. Fords? Jaguar? Oh, you got one. So what's their center section? Steel? Yeah. Yep. Well, I like Larry's attitude. <laughs> you know? Me too. Get it done. He was wondering if we could cut and make fiberglass pieces. Yeah. You can? Look at what size you want. I got a, a, an old Gibbons Roadster pickup body. And the first thing I want done is to cut the door down the middle and stretch it. I don't know how much yet. So the door is big enough for me to get in easy, you know. And then what I want to do is I want to take where the firewall normally goes in. I want to extend it out, but all the extending out will be under the hood. So you won't see it when the car is going down the road for leg room. And that's what the two things mainly that I want done to, uh, to the body first. Fiberglass body. Huh? The fiberglass, given the fiberglass. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'd be no problem. Okay. And later, I'll show Bob the uh, idea I have for the drawing and so, because I'll, 
the back of the, uh, of the Gibbons body is just flat. I want to do something like this. This would be a creativity, uh, not copying a standard. Nah, and, and, all and, and I know what I want, mm -hmm. and I, <laughs> I just want this on the back of the car. Yeah. Okay. And if the frame wow. sticks out there, let it. We'll mount a nice luggage rack to it, see? Yeah, either that or we can blend it into the body, body into the Yeah, body. yeah, well that's good. Now the other challenging part will be the fenders. Piece of cake. Because I'm thinking about 34 fenders out of glass and alter them. Lengthen some and then make it fit what I got and put a peak down the center. Okay. Yeah. No problem? That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Take care. We can do anything you want for. Wait. So okay. Great meeting you guys. This is 33, 34. Is this the shape you want to come down with, or you want to shorten that up? Oh, shorten it a lot. But so actually, you're to shape I want this. So you want to shorten it? I want it to come like this, and then blow out. Okay. That's what I want. And I'll be here when, when we actually do the actual design. Uh, so I can put my two cents in. And then you also have to dictate what it, what it wants us to to make it happen. You have to let it tell us what to do also. Hey, the first thing I can bring the, the whole thing over and we stretch the body first. Yeah. That'll determine what the chassis is going to be lengthened to also. And how long you want to fix the firewall. And, and the firewall. And then we'll, I wish you could come over. Well, no, actually we could. I'm not going to use the 350 that's in there. We're going to go up the stair uh, because I've already got the engine. It's a Hemi, Dodge Hemi. Nice. And I got it's a late model, 2004, uh, with a huge transmission. So if the engine's forward, so that's all right. That'll give us more room. 409, 429, something like that? Uh, you know, I don't know what they call it. I think it comes in those uh, like mini wagons. But it's, a, it's a good transmission. I got all the electronics for it. See, I was a gearhead before I was a body. Fiberglass guy. That's a good thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to be a gearhead when you're in this business. Yeah. So, what else? Hi. We ready? I'm ready. Okay. Ready Thanks, go. guys. You guys. You're welcome. See you all later. Thanks. Thanks. And I was thinking of a vent in here that would accentuate the windshield because the doors go straight up and down, see. Yet the 29 cow has a little bit of a, a line there. So you got a, call, a big cow modification to go on then. So the car's low. I want the fenders high and the car low. So that means your Z is going to have to be in front of whatever your wheel is, which puts it way up in here. I'm, I'm just looking at it in proportion. If, yeah. you're, if your wheel is that close to where uh, you're... That, that uh, Larry and you will, and me will have to look at it and say, this is the only way it can work. Because the way you got this right now, it can't work, or something like that. Well, I, I, <clears throat> you know, I've been looking at style, but looking at mechanically, or, you know, Chassis-wise, I, I see this to be a problem somewhat. It's easy to build a car that you can't drive. Oh, I know. I want, a, I want a driver. Right, right. Got to be a driver. Yeah, we. And the gas tank, our aluminum tank, already fits in this back area here. And the back, the bottom of the tank is already shaped like that. Oh, cool. So, you know, 